Well, after an internal investigation by the Utah State Highway Patrol, the officer who tortured or well, tased Jared Massey twice for a traf on a traffic stop in front of his wife has been vindicated. Gee, what a shock. You know, even when they kill people with these so-called non-lethal uh, tasers, the officer is always vindicated. Uh, but see, that's because they don't do a real investigation. People, even a lot of people figure, well, he should have just signed the ticket. Well, I'm going to show you here in a minute that the officer was not, did not, it was not lawful or reasonable in, in any sense. Even for those people who love and worship the law, says you've got to follow the law. Let's look and see if the officer uh, had a lawful basis for what he did. Now, in my previous video, I mentioned that why we have government. And this is the basis of all this. This is where you can show that the officer uh, is nothing but a base criminal and should be in prison the rest of his life because under Utah, the Utah Code, you have, oh, aggravated kidnapping under 76-5-302, where you can get 15 years to life imprisonment for aggravated kidnapping. And that's exactly what the officer did. So if you see what, and you can prove that by showing why do you have government. Why do we have government? Well, the public relations bull. The BS is that the government was established to protect and maintain individual rights. This is what they tell us in the Declaration of Independence, and you can look at state constitutions to prove that, to, to also show that. But it's all public relations. But it does show that the officer had no lawful authority, jurisdiction, what have you. Uh, because they never accused Jared Massey of violating anybody's legal rights. So I want to go through some things that I also have in my standing cross-reference to show that the officer is the criminal, not Jared Massey. You see, we'll assume it was a criminal case, so we're going to do civil and criminal just to cover both sides. But it all comes from the same thing. If the government was created to what? Protect and maintain individual rights. You can see that the officer had no legal basis whatsoever to even look at Jared Massey's car, let alone have him come get out of the car and start torturing him. Uh, so here we, we have uh, generally, and this is from the Utah Supreme Court, uh, generally, to establish guilt in a criminal case, the prosecution must show that uh, the injury or harm specified in the crime occurred, and that this injury or harm was caused by someone's criminal activity. Well, he wasn't causing any harm. He wasn't accused of harming anyone. He wasn't accused of causing any kind of injury. So, right there, the officer had, it was not lawful and it was not reasonable. So, if you assume it was civil, so, you know, like I said, we're going to cover both, both, both sides here, uh, again, it's from the same thing. The government was what? Established to create, uh, established to protect and maintain individual rights. So, in, uh, so the Utah Supreme Court again, in every valid cause of action, two elements must be present, the injury and the damage. Now, I've had speeding tickets. You've probably had speeding tickets. They never allege damage. They never allege that there was a victim. Okay, so there's never an allegation of, of, of an injury or damage. Uh, you also have, uh, to satisfy the basic requirements of the standing, of the traditional standing test, a party must allege that he or she has suffered or will immediately suffer an injury. Uh, the, the officer never accused Jared Massey of that. So here, and again, this is in my standing cross-reference on my website, Adventures of Legal Land, uh, you can see clearly under Utah law, and it's the same any, anywhere, for an officer to have any kind of legal authority to do anything, like an investigation or a stop, an arrest, he has to be able to articulate, it's called reasonable, articulable suspicion. He has to be able to articulate that a crime is being committed. And to do that, to, to, to articulate, you know, a crime is the violation of legal right. It's damage. And so, uh, here we see that clearly the officer had no, he had no legal authority to even, even stop the car, let alone have him pull out, you know, and, and, and torture him in front of his wife. Uh, Clearly. So, again, to summarize, if it was a real investigation, which you will never get from government, especially when it's against their own, if there was a real investigation, Jared Massey, they never would have uh, issued a ticket against him. They would, have they, they would have apologized profusely, asked him never to bring a lawsuit against them, and they would have indicted and prosecuted and sought a life imprisonment for the agent. But I think we all know that that's not going to happen. No one's going to be holding their breath waiting for this agent to be prosecuted for aggravating, aggravated kidnapping. Until right, next time, my name is Mark Stevens.